Hello, hood rats. Suckas. No? Can't call you that? Can't call you brats and hookers? I can't? Okay. Hello, my favorite people of YouTube. So, I finally got my light in here. It's been in my car. I've had this light forever and a day, but I've never actually used it for a tutorial. Go figure. I don't know if it's because I look too white. Could be a reason. Anyways, I wanted to go ahead and do some bright colors again because those are my favorites and the summer the end of summer is fast approaching and I feel like we're racing against it. <laughs> I think I want to do the makeup geeks look of the week which is the peacock look. But I want to take it up a notch and do it more like how I probably would have done it if I would have been here with some better lighting. My favorites, you guys haven't seen this one in a while. My Delft paint pot. Perfect color for this. My mirror's over here so I might be moving. But I don't think I've ever used this. Maybe I have. All over the lid. So I use it. First time ever. This is Mixing Medium. One of my blogger friends asked me what it is. And it's just glycerin, water, and a couple of other extra ingredients. <laughs> but it's used to, of course, apply pigments wet. But I wanted to use it just with this. Even though I know the paint pot is sticky. And I'm trying to make a little paste with the mineral shadow. This is from Pure Lux. And what I told my blogger friend was that this product helps to apply pigments wet, but it also gives a slight sheen to the shadows. Because these are pretty matte. I, well, they're shimmery, but they're not like papau shimmer. So you're just kind of patting it, getting more product as you need it. So that's pretty much the blue. You know, eyelid's not normally blue, so let's make it blue. Other side of the brush, I'm going to take the bright green sour apple color from Beauty from the Earth. I always want to say Beauty from the Earth because that's what this color reminds me of, the green color. But it's not. And then we're just going to put this on the outer edge. And then you just want to create your shape. Not me, I think I'm going to do a V a little bit. And then you're just kind of wipe, you know, like I said, pressing it in where you want it. And go above the crease a little. Just taking the tips of the bristles and moving it. Not really hard, light hand. Can't get some blue and green going on. telling you my stuff hides from me. Blend out the green on top of this, what we already have going on here. We're going to take some juxt. I really wish this color wasn't so washed out. That's closer to what it is. It's a really light lime green color. So I'm just going to take my 217, which is obviously the brush I don't want to take, so I'm being all pissy about it. <laughs> and I'm just going to take it up above where that is to kind of soften that. I'm going to have another color blend that out, but I just want to fade a lighter green on top of that, on the outer edge. You can pull it down a little bit if you, and then the inner side if you want. Okay. I'm just going to start blending. So I'm just going to start at the inner corner. And make sure these are blended right here in the middle. But the main thing I'm worried about when I blend is the outer corner. So that it's not a big clump of color right there. So I just really just work my brush through circles. Okay. The other side. And then just for a little bit more blue, because I feel like I've got a lot of green going on. On top of this blue in the other corner, I'm going to use this color. Awesome. <laughs> I'm just going to take my little bitty crease brush. Just making sure it's clean. I keep looking at my little brush thingy thinking that my brush is going to pop up. It's not. So this is Best Dressed from Lancome. 
that's close to color. Just get a little bit on the brush. I'm going to pop that right here. I don't know where I can find it. Gonna tight line the upper. I don't want to take away from the color we already have going on. Underneath, on top of that, I think I'm going to definitely do the Lancome Best Dressed all around underneath because it's more of just like a greenish, not green, but a blue with some green to it. So that's. Pretty close, and then for my new shroom, just like a light beigey color. I'm just gonna hit the brow bone with it. Make sure that it's not too crazy going on up here. My eyelashes are really straight, so I've been trying to find something that curls my lashes, that gives them some length, because I mean, I think my lashes are straight and short. So I've been using Prep and Prime, and I've been trying to read up on ways to use this, watching videos, and I feel like everything I do doesn't work right with this product. Either that, I'm just a dork and don't know how to use it. Another problem I have with this product is I feel like my lashes, it makes them too heavy and the curl doesn't stay. So I'm going to let that set for a bit. This is my Heather at Lollipop Loving lipstick. It has a, gr a green chrome to it. Don't you believe it? This is the brush that I was looking for. Freaking ridiculous. This is my favorite crease brush. I love my Sonia Kashuk brush as well. But that's my favorite crease brush. Okay, so Colossal Mascara. See, so I mean, I know I have eyelashes, but I hate when I can't see them. It just drives me nuts. So, I mean, the curls, I think, is already gone. So that's my finished look. I'll take some pictures, both with this camera and another camera, just so you can see better. But just some blue-green awesomeness for my peacock look. I think if I could find my color, I would do it. I would probably define the crease a little bit with some satin taupe, but since I don't know where the heck it is, it's on the floor somewhere. Who else? <laughs> I just wanted to do a quick little video. Also, fix my eyebrows. I did that just before I did this video. And mine, you notice, they don't look alike. This one arches better, but I think it's because I sleep on this side, and this one I always feel like it's higher than the other one, and it drives me nuts. So anyways, I'm not symmetrical, nobody is, but it does bother me sometimes. A little thing. Anyway, so that's going to be the rest of this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you can see my cheeks and the eyes, and that's it. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. A little light shining through the window lets me know that everything's alright. Summer breeze it really makes me feel fine Blowing through the jasmine in my mind Summer breeze it make me feel fine Blowing through my Making me feel right Making me feel, making me feel fine Makes me feel fine Blowing through the jasmine in my mind